Hey guys, MechanicCG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 31. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the MechanicCG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this high-end performance G37. I'm pretty sure this is a Infinity. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Don't hold me down on that one. Um, but what we're going to do um, is we are going to be doing the World Circuit Tour today uh, of International A. This is uh, five races. They are pretty long. Each of them five laps except the last Ascari one, which is four laps. Um, and we are going around the Twin Ring Mategi today. I think that's how it's now pronounced. Um, I've sort of watched a couple of videos. Um, but yeah, we're going to be going around this track with the G37. I think this was a car we got for getting the international license. So that's pretty good. This song is epic. Um, today, uh, the time we're recording... It is the 25th of June, and it is the hottest day ever in the UK. It is boiling. And one thing I have noticed is we now have a completely full grid for these races. So we've got uh, Lancer Rally cars. What? Okay, so we've got some Calibra Touring cars, AMG Mercedes. That looks very good. Uh, Impreza Rally cars. Why are there Impreza Rally cars? Why are there so many rally cars? Right, let's do this. Five laps of the twin ring. Uh, let's make sure to change our camera view. And why is it on this view? Oh, buttons are shifting around. I forgot about that. Here we go. Perfect. Up into 13th, but we don't want to be there long because that is the unlucky number. Perfect. Right, we got the uh, Scirocco up ahead, what looks like. A Scirocco touring car. Bosh. That is the uh, Mitsubishi Tarmac rally car there. And that car is being overtaken like crazy, but again, it is a rally car, so I'm not surprised. Awesome. I don't like this camera view. It's very low because it's not on the roof of the car this time. Awesome. Is that Selena Gomez in 11? <laughs> that was a very bad joke. Perfect. Right, come on, stick behind the Subaru. See if we can overtake. Perfect. We've got a, um, a upgraded uh, turbocharger, so it only works in the high revs. It only produces maximum boost in the high revs. Um, but the fact is, we're mostly in the high revs anyway, so it's not a problem. Perfect. Right, we're in 7th. We have uh, quite a few positions to regain. We are 11.8 seconds behind. Let's see if we can gain as much time as possible back on this. Perfect. Oh, very late there. I wonder if this car is four-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. It's definitely not front-wheel drive, but we've got a lot of heat on the front tyres for some reason. I didn't actually check how much uh, further we had gone up. Oh! Off the track, off the track. Not great. Stay on. Perfect. Nice. 
This is looking very good through here. And coming up to the breaking zone. Ooh. I have been playing um, a lot of GT Sport lately. Um, by the time this comes out, there'll be two videos. Uh, I think I recorded my first ever race that I did. Um, so that should be on there. Um, and also I recorded uh, a special race with the SRT Tomahawk. And that car is absolutely overpowered. It was crazy. Um, if you guys haven't checked those out, you should because it was so much fun. Right, we gained one position that entire lap, which isn't great. Hopefully we can gain some more positions though. I can see all four cars in front. Crap, that was close. Whoa! We are obviously turning the traction control down to two. Um, because, again, we don't need traction control that much because we're a lot more advanced. Yeah, I found that I've become a much better driver, like, in racing games since um, playing through all of these Gran Turismo's. Much better. We are now in fourth. So we have three more cars to overtake. I need to sneeze. Very good. You know, the worst feeling in the world is when you're about to sneeze and you feel like you need to sneeze, but you can't sneeze. That gets the achievement for the world's worst feeling ever. Perfect. Not good. Uh, somehow I feel like we're not going to get these positions. Though we could do if we uh, can slipstream these cars now. Rely on the late break in there. It's a Mitsubishi rally car in second. There is no way I, I am slower than a rally car. I am not going to accept that at all. Also lost count how many gears I had. Brilliant. Right, come on. You can do this car. It's your time to shine. Oh, and we did change the color of the car as well. I didn't show it on camera. But uh, we changed it to a nice metallic red, um, which is a lot nicer than what it was before. I think it was like a really horrible dark blue, uh, matte dark blue. Nice. The car is just up ahead. 2.2 seconds we need to gain within this last section of this lap and the entire of the next lap. We have just gained time. I am actually curious what that car is. It's a Vauxhall. What Vauxhall is it? We're going to have to find out. Uh, just on the inside there.
That is perfect. That is awesome. I have a feeling this is going to be a fast lap. The car is right behind me though. That is a worry. Come on, come on, come on, round the corner. Perfect. Nice. Perfect. Coming up to the final section of the race now. And here we go. There is our first race, first win of the International A Series. This is getting close to the end game stuff now. Which is really cool. I'm looking forward to actually uh, finishing a racing game for once. Because I've never actually finished like 100% in a racing game before. And it would be really sick if this could be the first racing game I've ever 100%ed. Um, that would just be so cool. Honestly. That would be the, that would be amazing. Like that, This game would go down in history for me. Because I've never actually... I did 100% complete Colin McRae Dirt, didn't I? Hmm. Ah, but I didn't get a win on everything, did I? In uh, Dirt 2. Uh, whereas this, you need to get a win on everything. Um, right, let's do this. Brands Hatch Circuit. This is epic. I love the music in this game. Right, so what cards are we going against for this one? We've got uh, loads of rally cards again. Um, we got some Mercedes. We got an S2000 we're going against and a Corolla rally car. Nice, but they are basically all rally cards. Right, let's do this. Brands Hatch. It's our time to shine. There's the Corolla rally car. We know Brands Hatch very well. We've been around it multiple times. Even been around it in GT Sport. Which now playing Gran Turismo 6 after playing GT Sport is like a little bit underwhelming. But still it's a very fun game. Don't get me wrong. The frame starters are a bit annoying now. But I still enjoy it. It's still a fun game. And I'm not going to fault it. Because... Again, I prefer playing Gran Turismo 5 over Forza. And to be honest, now I'm playing Gran Turismo 6. Kind of hate Gran Turismo 5 now. A very weird way of putting it, yes. But we have overtaken quite a few cars in the first section now. And what on earth is that? Is that what I think it is? Is that an MR2? I think I accidentally pushed that car off the road. Um, if it was GT Sport, I would slow down. Because, like, GT Sport isn't supposed to be a toxic thing. But it's Gran Turismo 6. It's single player, and I don't care. I could probably... What was that voice break? Jesus. Oh my days, that was horrible. 
I was going to say, I could turn off uh, the driving line entirely. But I feel like I sort of need it as a minute reference point, almost. Um, even though I don't follow the braking line, I still think I need it just for safety purposes, pretty much. Right, we have four more cars in front of us, which is actually better than when we were on the um, Mategi circuit. Oh. Perfect. Four more cars in front of us. We're not going to be beaten by you. Crap. That was not great. That time that we just lost, we need to try and regain ASAP. We've definitely had our practice on this track though. Um, especially with that Aston Martin challenge where we had to try and get round um, Brands Hatch as smooth as possible. This section up here. What are you doing? Why are you breaking so early? Is that an RS200? Cosworth? Perfect. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're so out of place in this, though. Like, why? Are, why is it rally cars when the cover image clearly shows like touring cars everywhere, and these have all turned out to be rally cars? Like, I was expecting some nice touring cars, a nice, lovely touring car race. Our car would have probably not fitted in very well but it would have fitted in more than rally cars much more than rally cars I think this car as well has the exhaust coming out of the front of the car oh this is fancy this is very fancy definitely from uh, GC5 though as you can see the pixels on the best Back to the uh, legendary camera view. It is so hot. It is so hot today. The PS3 can't even cope with the heat. It's just started to overheat and it's been 20 minutes recording. Bad luck, mate. You're going to be maxed out for the next God knows how long. I'm hoping uh, the mic can't pick up the fans, but uh, it probably can, and it's probably loud. I feel like maybe if I sit back, I might have more of a chance of not picking up the noise. Perfect. If I get an overheating message, I will cry. Genuinely.
There goes the doorbell. Right, here we go, here we go. Right. And onto the brakes. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Slow down, slow down. Keep it under control. Woo! That was close. We have cars on our ass. Come on, just get through. Get past the line. There we go. 1 minute 35 for that last lap. That was disgustingly slow. 7 minutes and 43 seconds for the entire race. Awesome. I have no idea how I'm going to structure these videos. Because they're going to have to be split up. But some of them are going to be really long. Some of them are going to be really short. I have no clue how it's going to work. At all. Um, we'll obviously see how it works. Uh in the post edit but for now we're going to be moving on to the Daytona International Speedway um, this is going to be uh, five laps this is a very nice one it's not actually the International Speedway track though it is the road course um, I do like the road course of Daytona Daytona has got a very nice road course And here we go. What cars are we going up against? Rally cars. No, we got a Camaro race car. We've got quite a few race cars. Um, but we got more touring cars now. Which is very nice. And I'm guessing the Calibra Super Touring car is that Vol uh, the Vauxhall. Um, so it's going to be pretty cool to see how that does in this track as well. Right, let's do this. Daytona International Speedway. We've got rally cars for days, supercars for days, touring cars for days, and tuning cars for days as well. You could probably say that as well. As well. As well as as well. Because I haven't said enough as well yet. This is the shittest start to a clip yet. <laughs> oh, that's, that's going into like achievement territory there. Perfect. Squeezing around these cars. I don't know what that is in front, but it must be overtaken. I have a feeling my PS3 is going to blow up at this rate. It is way too hot in the UK at the moment. But I want to record. Because i got nothing else to do in lockdown. I bet you by the time this video goes out, Corona will be nothing. Right, we have six cars to catch up with. Right, let's see how much speed we can get. That Peugeot looks so out of place, and no way is that Peugeot doing 160 miles an hour. There is no physical way. Oh, I am very sorry. There is no physical way that that Peugeot rally car can do 160 miles an hour on tarmac. It just doesn't make sense. 
like not stock anyways and I'm pretty sure these cars don't get tuned because AIs can't tune it's not like project cars oh we got overtaken Ugh, not good let's regain some positions That's the Camaro race car there. That was going to be the car that we used in the historic race, but I didn't actually have enough money. So uh, we downgraded to the um, Challenger race one. Oh, in the end, um, I managed to get um, all of the stars for the go-kart. That took me around about 10, 15 attempts to get that. Um, and then to get all the stars on the um, classic one, it was just a redo the race because we were only second. So just redone the race and we managed to get it. Um, but for the narrow one on the Cote d'Azur, the one that I got uh, fifth place on, it was either fifth or fourth. Um, I actually couldn't keep up um, until I set the downforce to maximum on the front and the rears and that meant that through the hairpin corners I could actually turn a lot better. Um, so after doing that I still had the trouble of catching up with the fan car because me and the fan car were running at the same pace for most of the race. Um, but there were times when I think in the early sections of the track um, sort of before the hairpin, after the hairpin, the very tight hairpin, and the actual um, straight bit was fine. Then once you got into the narrow bit where you had to slow down, that's where we struggled again. Going against that thing. This touring car though is very quick. I will say that now. So we have two laps to catch up with it. Very good. It is interesting to actually drive in um, nighttime around this track. Honestly, Daytona is a stunning track at night. It's going to be amazing to see like Daytona with ray tracing, though. That is going to be awesome. Because I, as a gamer, have never... Because I've been a console gamer for so many years, I've never played PC properly. The most PC like game that I've played is Portal 2 on minimum graphics on my laptop. Yeah, I don't really play PC games too much. I'm a very console gamer person. Right, we are catching up though, which is good. Perfect. Right, we are catching up with the car now. But yeah, it's going to be a really fun experience because obviously a lot of the console games are getting very PC hardware now. Um, and so having ray tracing in like games that I love, like Gran Turismo and Dirt. It's going to be so cool. Um, and it's going to be really enjoyable. Um, I think by the time this video comes out as well, it will be uh, less than a month before... Uh, maybe even less than two weeks before Dirt 5 comes out. So that is going to be super duper exciting. Oh, Voxel's getting in my way again. Oh, drifting. Drifter Rooney. Right. And across the line there. So 
so many hiss and pops there. Perfect. Right, that touring car is right on my tail. But as long as we keep him behind, we don't have to worry too much. Nice. This is cool that we're now getting longer championships in this. Uh, we still have the Super Series, which has the long races in it, though, um, to look forward to. Perfect. Is that rain? I can't tell if it's rain or just the um, refresh lines. Genuinely can't tell anymore. But, across in the finish line with the fastest time yet for our final lap. 9 minutes and 19 seconds, point five five four. That is awesome. That is really good. Replay. And we'll take that 46,000 credits as well. Awesome. Three stars. Ta-da. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.